Hi, welcome back to my channel. Um, I'm going to take a look at the World War II knives today. Um, and these are the K-bars. Just remember folks, if it's not stamped K-bar on the blade, it's not a K-bar. Right, so this particular knife is one of the earlier ones. It's simply stamped uh, K-bar on the obverse face. There is no designation on the back. There's no USMC or uh, US Navy. This knife has a threaded tang and it has a 3 8 pommel. The knife next to it is pretty much the same, just been polished up a bit. K Bar Olean New York has been the Olean New York is added on this one, the other one does not have it. Right, still World War II knife. It has a threaded pommel. Right. This one, K bar Olean. On the reverse, USN is now on the blade. Also, a threaded pommel. Um, okay, let's just, let's have this part of the discussion now then. This is what is um, confusing a lot of people. Let me just pull us some knives here. The biggest determining factor being if you're out trying to you know, buy a knife, you're looking at a knife online, and there actually are some nice close-up pictures. What you're looking for is the new knives have a black spacer, plastic spacer here. It can be a little bit harder to spot on knives that are older, but it's always there, all right? And at the top here, below the pommel is another one which is also pretty clear you can normally see that it's 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 more shiny than the, the leather around it okay those are your your absolute two determining factors on whether something is a period knife or it's a modern knife clearly this this is a modern knife that i'm, I'm busy looking at with you guys coming into shot here if you are able to see the um, lettering. The lettering on the World War II knife is not as deeply struck. I think you can just see the other one on, on side shot there. Okay, it's very similar, but the placement of the the uh, lettering is is quite different too. This one is sitting just above the guard. This one, there's a fairly decent gap between it and the guard. And so the lettering is very similar, but it's not the same. You can see that this is more deeply struck. It's, it's, it's pretty crisp, comparatively. All right. And if there's still somebody trying to convince you that Grandpa stormed Iwo Jima with that knife, this is what you look at. The World War II knives with a 3 8 8 pommel. You're only going to find them with a threaded um, tang or you're going to find them with a peened tang looking like this. All right. Now, the modern knife has a 3 8 pommel, but it is always pinned. All right. So if you're looking at these knives side by side, you can clearly see they all three eighths. One is one is threaded, one is peened, and one is very clearly not. And there's the you can see the pin over there. So no matter what people tell you, if those three elements are all present, the washers, the the, the spacers, the pin pommel, the change in lettering. And some of the newer knives, when they first came out, they still put on the zinc phosphate coating, so they kind of look like some of the World War II ones 
a lot of the World War II ones were actually blued or had a black finish on them. Some did have phosphate on them. But this is not a proving fact. Even if people are trying to say, oh, it's got this and it's got that, go back to the rest of the knife. The, the knife will always tell you the story. It will never lie to you. So no matter what kind of uh, line you've been sold, look at the knife. It, it will never let you down. You can clearly see over here, none of these knives, the World War II period knives, have any type of black spacer. Now, there were previous models of K-Bar that had red and black in them, with a very, very distinctive red on the fronture. Those are absolutely authentic. But don't let anybody try and sell you, oh, this was a different one, it was just had a little bit of black, they forgot to put the red in. That's nonsense. This is a modern knife. See, once again here, no black spacer, no black spacer. You can still see where the leather's running up against the bottom of the pommel here. All right, now that basically determines what is a World War II knife and what isn't. Um, just going back to this knife that we'll be looking on the one side, you can see here it's got USMC struck. Now you can see how crisp and neat and pretty that is. Um, here is a World War II original. You can see there's a vast difference in the size of the lettering, the placement of the lettering. This just has K-Bar. There's no K-Bar Olean on it. And uh, once again, no black spacer there. No black space are there. While we are while we on this then, you can see that later in production, K-Bar moved to a quarter inch pommel and it's pinned. Okay. So the only time you're going to see a knife with a quarter inch pinned pommel is on a World War II knife. Any modern knife it's got a 3 8 pinned pommel. Okay. All right, folks, just hang in there. We, we're going to get there. All right, so K-Bar is busy blade marking their knives. We've got to the first USN one in the last clip. So... Here we go again. It's just K bar. No Olean New York. It's designated USN. And it has a peened pommel. No black spaces on the handle. Right. So this is one of the rarer knives, if you can see on the guard here, it says US. Let me try and get it in the shot. This has almost been being stamped out of a continuous strip of metal just going USN, USN, USN. So you can just see the N starting where the blade goes through this. And then you can see over here USN on the other side. Right? Now, what makes this unique? Because coming into Shotcha, it is also blade marked. Just K bar, no K, K bar, only M. So it's basically a double marked knife. This is a, is a production knife. There's nothing weird here. So if you see one of these, grab it. They're pretty rare. This also had a peened pommel. All right. This is one that normally gets the uh, collector's attention as well. This is the very sort of elusive, but well, sort of no, everybody sort of heard it. Very few people have seen it. This is the K-Bar one line or straight line. And it comes from it just having K-Bar on one side and USN on the other side, you know, making a straight line across the guard. These are pretty rare, so if you see one, you know, once again, get a hold of it. No black spaces. 
and this was a peened pommel knife. Right. This is another one, it's just K bar. This is now a USN designated knife and peened pommel. Now, the, the last knives that were made were pretty much marked as such. K bar, USN Mark II, and these are also a quarter inch pinned pommel. Right, we took a look at this knife earlier. This is just marked K bar, no early end is USMC quarter inch pinned guard a uh, pinned pommel alrighty okay folks so that's pretty much how you tell what you have and what you don't have